Hey, what's up everybody? The Rhyme Man here, coming to you with some more Let's Playing Goodness. Today we have the start of a fan-voted game, Portal 2, and we are going to be playing the single player. At, this game was voted for you guys, by you guys a couple of weeks ago. There was a poll on Poll Daddy. There was three choices, this, the Stanley Parable, and Red Shirt. And there was this big race between Portal 2 and Stanley Parable, but ultimately Portal 2 squeaked by. Um, this is not a blind playthrough, however, it's been such a long time since I've done the puzzles, since I've played the game, that I'm hoping that most of my knowledge of the puzzles will have depleted by then. I know most of my knowledge of the puzzles have depleted. I only probably know some of the basic ones. And of course I do know the storyline by heart. So. <laughs> Regardless, this was a game that you guys wanted to see me play. You seem to not mind the fact that this isn't going to be blind, so... Alright, let's jump right in here. Single player, we are going to go with the... What is challenge mode? I won't even bother with it. We're going to play a new game. Um, chapter 1, the courtesy call. We are starting all the way in back. Loved Portal 2. Loved the Portal series in general. Wish wish Valve would count to three so we can get a Portal 3, but I doubt we ever will. So, we have to kind of just live with this one. Aww. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Oh, I'm, I'm well. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Dang. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Dang. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Really? Gymnastic? There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Oh, the door? Am I supposed to stand in front of the door? I think I have to stand in front of the door. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. I want to listen to... <coughs> I want to listen Good. to some Beethoven. Now please return to your bed. I don't want to. Screw you. I want to I want take, take a seat. Can I take a seat? Can I get some clothes? I feel strangely naked. Yeah. What a douche. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is to inform you. Anyone that in all there? Subjects should be huh. ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Wheatley! Are you okay? Are, are you. Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. He's my favorite character. I swear to God. He's isn't he just a big lovable ball of sunshine? You're right down there. Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, I forgot to tell you. I suffer from motion sickness. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, good. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. I do you understand wanna. what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. <laughs> Never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now. I'm like Mario. All my all my words are through jumping. 
Oh! Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Ah! Uh, the reserve power you... ran out, so of course the whole relaxation oh. center stops waking up the bloody test subject. Did you not hear me say I have motion Order sickness? Up. This is a bit tricky. And of course, no one tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. 10,000? What happened to Hi, everybody else? Folks, can you see? Am I going to make it through? But not enough space. Why are you asking uh, me? Just, just got to get through here. Oh and my god. Concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Yeah, no kidding. I'm down here, you know. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Don't worry, I got your back. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Gee, I wonder if the words docking station on the wall it signifies anything. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Man, sure is technical. Beating it with my Remember, head. You're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but... Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh! Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, yep. you got that. you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. You know, you make me feel in love like I was in love with Stamper. Right. Off you go. Alright, alright. Let me actually adjust the music volume a little bit. Go on, just good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment. This is where it all started. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties it due is. to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three. Emergency two, testing. One. Gee, isn't this a swell place to live? Oh. Hi, Chell. That's me. That was me in there. Okay. So... We need to find ourselves a portal gun. No doubt. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based no testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You okay, announcer, you decided not to actually say your words, you decided to project them. You know, I can completely read lips perfectly. As perfect as anybody else. Gee, I love how smarmy most of these characters are. Smarmy and jokish. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Then why did you not take out the ear tubes? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Alright, we got a portal there. And these open portals. So we gotta open that portal to get this here block. And then we gotta throw this block to the side. Throw this block to the side. And then open this portal. My god! It's genius enough to be stupid! I feel so smartical. My god. Good. 
Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, they can do that? I didn't know you could revive me from vegetable or death-like states. Gee, why don't you share the rest of your technology with the world? Don't if the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. It's the planet of the apes all over again. Dawn of the planet of the legacy of the apes. Hey, you made it. Hi. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I want to hug you. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Can I hug you first? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about. Oh! Thanks, Wheatley. Uh, can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. Yeah, probably. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. What would happen if I just wait here for an hour, like an in-game hour? Would I? Would he actually come back? I wonder if anybody's ever done that. If they just waited here for an hour. I might look on YouTube to see if that's actually a thing. Oh, hey, the portal gun. Ah, oh, there's me. Me with the portal gun. Me fighting GLaDOS in the first game. And being offered cake. Well, isn't that demonic? Why do I have such a big mouth? Yeah, this is artwork depicting, like... My adventures in the first Portal game. You know, I played Portal 2 before I played Portal, so this is actually making a lot more sense now that I'm going through it. At least I'm pretty sure I played Portal 2 first. One of the two. See, I might also have a brain issue because I can't remember shit. Oh. Alright. Going through places we shouldn't really be going through. Look at all of his veg vegetal overgrowth. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. How nice of you. God. I won't, I won't say names, but I do remember... I do remember watching something where somebody was actually st stuck on that puzzle for a very long time. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed. In three, two, oh, one. Oh, let me just sit down and listen. <laughs> you suck, announcer. Yeah, not to be a dick, I actually found that pretty, pretty amusing. <laughs> Okay, so let's do that. Put this here. Oops. And jump through here, and here we go. I don't even remember these puzzles. I'm j I just can tell how to accomplish them. Oh, shit. All right, well, first off, I need to get up there. And put a portal. Put 
this here. I need to find a new piece, new puzzle piece. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And now we place you right here. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. You're no GLaDOS. You can't insult me like she does. Oh shit. Alright, so... Are we going that way or are we going this way? Unreason. And lots of mathematic equations, which I would never be able to understand because I sucked at math. See, I the only good grade I got in math was when I retook algebra. People think I'm smarter than I actually am when it comes to that subject. <laughs> That's the sad thing. It's like, oh, you got an A plus on algebra? You belong in honors geometry. No, no, I don't. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. When has there ever been a deliberate test where I've been pelted by fireballs? That should be a thing, actually. Oh, oh here we go. Um, okay, this is a little bit tougher, it would seem. So that's to get up there. I need the cube in here. There we go. And now we make our way up here, and I assume we are not good because we need more more cubes. Alright. I know how to do this. Oh shit. There we go. That's the ticket right there. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Mm, lemon. Shop well watch. Done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I don't want your company. I want company of actual human beings. I am sorry. We do not compute. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> if laws of physics don't apply to you, you're fucked. Thank you, have a good day. I wish laws of physics here applied to Earth, that would be pretty dope. Okay, oh, there's the cube. Shit. Okay, I need to I need to do a little jumpy action right here. Oh And then as you can see guys, I need to do a little portal action right there. And voila. Genius, I say. Absolute genius. I came up with that tactic myself. Huh. Yeah. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Even if it's against your will. Because we at Aperture Science surely respect those who have their own opinions and their own aspirations towards the future. That is a joke. Please disregard this joke. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... Doo -doo -doo. Ow. Well, if I didn't have brain damage before. I was hoping I could just smash it with the cube. Yeah. 
Alright, now I need to do a big jump. Huh. Yeah! Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Are you trying to imply that I'm ugly? How dare you?